Okay, so for lesson two, which entitled attraction, love, and commitment. For what I need to know, every human being has or has his own way of expressing his attraction, love, and commitment due to our different life experiences. So, uh, na dumadumang nga tao being sa balsabali iti pinangi-express na, iti panagayat na, iti commitment na, ken iti pan naka sa balsabali met iti pan naka-attract tayo iti sa sabsabali nga tattao. It is because of hindi pare-pareho yung life experiences natin, di ba? So, when attraction between two persons is discussed, it is often understood based on physical appearance while this might be while this might be true to a certain extent but uh, there is more to attraction that we already know okay so uh, according to helen fisher attraction is primarily on physiology or certain hormones that get attracted to others and it is the first stage during the changes of personality development which leads or which lead to closeness, love, and commitment. Okay? So, but disappointments, kunana, in relationship occur usually because of the misunderstanding about a different ways of expressing their attraction, their love, and commitment. Thus, uh, we will be exploring, as we go on with uh, lesson two, we will be exploring how we can express our attraction, our love, and commitment to others okay so for the first activity activity for lesson two which entitled the people i am attracted to so what you're going to do is that you're going to write the name of the person or persons that best fit for each statement on the second column and on the third column and the third column elaborate specify the reasons of your attraction similar to the statement given you can answer as many as you can. So, isusulat niyo yung mga pangalan uh, ng mga tao na that best fit, na magfi-fit dun sa mga statement sa, sa susunod na slide. Uh, be honest and don't worry about kung isusulat niyo yung mga pangalan kasi wala naman akong pagsasabihan. All your answer, answers will be, kept, uh, will be kept confidential. Okay? Yan. So, what's an example? Uh, I am physically attracted to, isusulat mo yung pangalan. Or for me, because uh, she has lovely eyes and beautiful smile. Or for example, kanyak, isusulat ko ng kakit, I am physically attracted to oh, Daniel Padilla because he has lovely eyes and beautiful smile. Okay? So, yan. So, you will be answering for only, but then, uh, for the name of the persons, uh, write as many as you can. Huwag niyong limitahan yung mga susulat ninyong pangalan. Be honest with your answer. Again, don't worry. Kadagi isurat yung uh, uh, names kasi awan pangibagaak. I will keep your answer confidential. Okay? And then yung reason, isusulat nyo din. So, write your answer in a one whole sheet of paper. Okay, hindi ko nababasahin yung mga tanong. I will just give you time to read or to copy. Okay, huwag nyo nang, huwag, huwag na kayong gumawa ng table. Just this, just copy the uh, four statements. Okay, so another activity, activity for uh, lesson two, which entitled love test. Okay, so paganda ng paganda yung mga activity natin. So, the instru I will read the instruction. Each item is a hypothetical situation that reveals uh, psychological aspects of you. However, the results are not necessarily true. When answering a question, do not dwell too much on the item and simply write your answer that comes in your mind first. Okay, so... Bibilisan natin yung mga slide para mas maging uh, mas uh, maging totoo kayo sa mga answers ninyo. 
Okay, so yan yung uh, ano ninyo mga questions. So, it's too, ano, masyadong maliliit yata. So, babalikan, as we go on with the video, uh, babalikan na, uh, may, uh, need, i post nyo na lang yung, ano, yung video. Okay? Para hindi tayo matagalan. Yan. And then, meron naman kayong mga choices. Okay? For our next slide. Okay, so, for the discussion part, what is it? In the biological model of love as proposed by anthropologist Helen Fisher, love can start with any of these three feelings. Okay, so, we have lust, attraction, and attachment depending on the person. So, each involves a different neuro neurochemical in your brains. Okay, so ano nga ba yung tinatawag natin na lust? Let's, let's start it first with the first stage of falling in love. So, lust. So, when you say lust, it refers to an urge or desire that motivates us to partake in sexual activity. So, yun. Um, parang um, tiilok ano na dito, kit magargari ka lang through DJ physical nga kita da, or DJ bagida physically. Okay, so last. Dita timakon ko na nga, last. Okay, and the second stage is attraction. It is described as the love struck phase. Okay, aping at nga, awawagan tayo nga love struck phase. So, this is the stage when a person loses sleep and appetite over someone and become excited to someone while they dreaming of a special person. Okay, so I know most of you na try yun dito, dito, agdede-dream ka, agdede-dreaming ka, habang nag-explain ni teacher, kasi nga pan-panunot yung special person, dito yung naka-attract kam, dito yung naka-inlove kam. Okay, hang ka makapangpangan, no, hang agchat, hang agtext, no, hang mga makitan, di ka makaturuturugan, kasi jay. So, uh, it is a part of lust because it involves focusing our attention to a particular person or desire. Okay, so many factors influence attraction. Okay, so ado iti influences na dito makon ko na nga attraction. Okay, first one, we have physical attractiveness. Uh, when we say physical attractiveness, it is one of the primary determinants of romantic attraction. Okay, so most uh, people prefer whom they consider a physically attractive, especially in the early stages of dating. So, yun yung isang factor of attraction, physically uh, attractiveness or physical attractiveness. Ma-attract kayo Uh, depende ka dayay kita dayay naka-attract nyo nga tao next is proximity okay people tend to get attracted to people who are geographically closer to them okay they are more likely to uh, develop feelings of mutual familiarity with the people who live closer uh, to us or go to school with with us an increased level of comfort when there is regular contact and no prior negative feelings. Diti, when we say proximity, siyempre di asideg kan, diti asideg kan yayo. Okay? People to get attracted or people tend to get attracted are those who are geographically closer to them. Okay? Diti asideg kan yayo. Of course, no, ma-inlove ma ka nga siguro no, through chats, pero, pero iba pa rin yung pakiramdam na nakikita mo sila sa personal. Okay? Next is similarity. People pick partners uh, who we have similarities with such as class, background, religious beliefs, age, and education. O, diba? So, the more attitudes and opinions two people share, especially when they are similar, the more they will want to do the same activities and would create a strong bond between them. Siyempre, oh, for, uh, for example, di ba, no ones nga, uh, best example natin, and that the same religious beliefs is iglesia, di ba? Uh, talaga nga, same, ana, danukwan, uh, same uh, paniniwala, danukwan. Social class, and even the background, oh, di ba, and even the age also. Similarity, mas, uh, DJ, pin, uh, 
mas makapag-form kayo pa lalong it is strong bond. Okay? And uh, last factor of attraction is reciprocity. Ano ba yung tinatawag natin na reciprocity? People like others who like them back. Okay? Of course naman. Uh, di ba? At the admit that at the degite han mo ang magustuhan iti una na pero into mo may bayag medyo magustuhan to met ten. Pero for this uh, reciprocity, uh, people feel indebted when someone does uh, something good for them and tend to reciprocate the action. So, uh, the more we are liked by someone they equally like, the more we have in ways that promote mutual feelings of liking. So, yun yung tinatawag natin na reciprocity. And for the last uh, stages of uh, falling in love, which is the attachment, it is a deep and enduring emotional bond that connects uh, one person to another across time and space. So it is when long-lasting commitments are exchanged. So dita matan dita makon ko nga attachment then dita dita nagasawa dita naglive in kayo dito in dita marriage part no kwan dita makon ko nga attachment. Then, okay, 